Hello, welcome to Get Your Mind On. I'm Lori Stose. So as we've talked about th- transitions over the past few weeks and through the journey of your career, you've had many transitions. It could be that you've been that individual performer, that you've really had the opportunity to move through different roles and gain different knowledge, different skills, different experience, and you've had a wonderful career. For some of you, may, you may have taken that management track after a period of time, maybe continued on that management track. Some of you maybe took the management track and came back to the individual performer track, or some of you may have taken the manager track to that executive leadership track. So whatever that has been, what a wonderful time of our career when we stop and we get towards that end of the career and we say, gosh, what have I accomplished? Well, sometimes you're very amazed at your accomplishments thinking, gosh, I you know, when I look back to when I was 25 and got out of college and thought, what am I going to do? That You really look and see that wonderful career that you've had. Some of you may be a little disappointed about, gosh, I thought I was going to do other things. And you know what? I've had a fine career, but it maybe wasn't what I thought I would be. Whatever that is, you're going to get to that point to say, it's time to transition. Now, whether that's an age thing, although some people have goals of retiring, quote, as we call it, um, at 55, some at 60, some at 65, some of you say, I'll never retire. Um, So I don't really call it retirement because I'm finding people are really um, stepping out of that career, maybe to the next step. And sometimes that's 55 and it's just the next thing. It could be at 65, but I don't find many people today saying at 65, I'm going to quit working. They just want to start maybe slowing down a little bit and transitioning. So I call this this really this this stage is really transitioning to that next step, whatever that may be for you. So when you think about transitioning at after kind of your full-time career, that's where I'm speaking from now. Whether that's 55, 65, 70, whatever it is for you, the age is just usually sometimes that uh, quote retirement goal that you've had. So what does that transition look like for you? Some of you may have decided, I just need to slow down. I want to do some travel. I want to have some fun because I've committed my life to my career. And um, I want to spend time being a uh, grandparent. Um, I just want to pay attention to my health because I don't want to retire and then have a heart attack and not enjoy that time that I've worked for. So you really need to first step back and understand what that means for you. What What is this next transition, whether retirement or whatever it's called for you? Um, I think that's critically important. Um, but really at this time, I think part of it is what are you wanting from this this time of your life and really where are you going to be spending your time? So I find that the transition out of corporate is really hard or out of whatever role you're in is really difficult when you've been in a place for so long uh, and now you're having to kind of transition out. So does that mean I set a date and I leave? Could be. Um, do I set a date Um, and put a plan in place to say over the next nine months, I'm gonna kind of taper off and go from five days to four days to three days to two days. It depends, right? Kind of depends on what you do. Um, Depends on what your succession plan is. Depends on who you have in place to take your role. There's lots of little variables to think about. But I do want you to think a little different than sometimes the traditional set a date and leave. Um, because I think sometimes that's way too extreme for people. They like it for about 60 days and then they're going crazy (laughs) or their spouse is going crazy (laughs) because life is just so different now. So I think that's something to really think about is what works for you when you're thinking about that transition. The other thing I think about is what do you want to be doing? When you make that transition and you're trying to think about when I retire, when I transition out of my full-time career, um, where am I spending my time? I think that's really important um, because there's really kind of three ways people go. One, they uh, really go into indulgence that they decide, okay, I have a retirement now I want to do all these things. And they go and they travel and they, or they uh, get addicted to doing the golf thing or, or going out all the time to eat or all these th- things. And they just live this life of indulgence where that's retirement, right? Just, just living, living the dream per se. Um, then we have some that are really into the isolation that they have been used to being around people all of the time and now they go home and they don't have that quote group of people. So you kind of have to find that group of people or that activity maybe that drives you that you've always wanted to do. Um, 
because isolation could be sitting home and just watching TV all the time. It could just be isolating yourself to be on the computer all the time and kind of finding your way. So be careful about that isolation piece unless that's of course your choice. Some of you may say, heck with this, I've been around people for my whole career and I'm ready to go in the mountains of Colorado and spend time by myself. Perfect. Just understand what that isolation means for you. And the third area is a little bit about um, influence. So thinking about what kind of influence can you have on others? Some of you may say, gosh, I still want to teach people. I need to use my head. I don't want to work full time into my career anymore, but I really want to use my head to do something else, right? Um, I want to teach. I want to work with a nonprofit. I want to be part of a, a be on a board that I can still use my head at part time. Um, I want to give back, uh, finding ways through nonprofits and, and churches and those kinds of things, community efforts for you to do that. Um, that was part of the mission of Executive Without Borders when we started that uh, years ago, is really to get executives together who wanted to give their time and still use their skills and talents and knowledge to share with others um, and do it in a way that you feel still feel fulfill, fulfilled. And I think that's important. So really, when you think about indulgence in, in um, isolation and um, influence, you need to really think about what that is for you and what you want. So for a positive charge this week, um, as you think about that transitioning to that next stage of life from full time to maybe what's next for you, um, what is your plan? Two is when you think about those three words, those three eyes, which area um, is most interest to you? And three, what would be your plan of execution? If you say, I want to influence, what would be those things that you'd be thinking about? So when we think about our careers, we've spent so much time working, probably 75% of our life at more or more. We have to think about what that transition looks like. Some of you are, are futuristic and you're probably 30 years old and already have that plan made. Some of you are like, heck, I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow, let alone Lori, you know, when the, that next phase for me. Wherever you are, just know that that transition will be coming and think about it today and think about it where you'll be heading in the next years ahead. Thanks for joining us today and remember to get your mind on.